that was that. Public enemy. Fight the power. Now, for someone my generation, the internet and YouTube are these unbelievable treasure troves. I will never forget when it was first possible to procrastinate for hours, days, weeks and just search for the next music clip, the next documentary, the next info thing that you of course had never heard of, had never even dreamed of in most of the cases. Now Public Enemy with that 7 minute 20 thingy is obviously within the rather filmic range of music videos. What's interesting here is for me that there is this moment of zero tolerance. There's no asking for forgiveness or any form of paternalizing on their part. Here comes the band. They clearly project their political stand and they do it, at least for my money, in a way that is still musically super invigorating. I work as a curator, among other things, and I just curated an exhibition on the West German avant-garde improv label free music production. Like basically all initiatives that were based on music and on the engagement by musicians. FMP was an enterprise that wanted to control the ways in which music was produced presented and distributed. To my knowledge, all of these initiatives go back to what Afro-Americans did in the music business beginning in the 50s. Dizzy Gillespie founding his own label, the AACM in Chicago, and on and on and on. Most of these initiatives were rather short-lived. FMP um, existed for almost 40 years. It may sound um, surprising to those of you who know FMP, but I very strongly and firmly do believe that public enemies, hour of chaos, their multi-layering of sounds, found sounds, produced sounds, the whole level of energy is closely related to something that Peter Brotzmann had begun in the 60s with his maybe most famous recording, Machine Gun. When you think about the music and the iconography that Brotzmann used for Machine Gun, where he depicted a machine gun uh, fired by a US American soldier in a silk screen. Um, there's obviously also a close relationship to the way that Public Enemy presented itself as a paramilitary force unit. The one concert I saw of them in their heyday, they had yeah these military trooper-like looking guys coming onto stage before they came on in full rifle gear it was pretty impressive and sent, uh, as I said, a, a very strong message. Now, of course, Public Enemy didn't reference Peter Brotzmann here, but very surely they referenced the Black Panther Party, the one revolutionary party in America that did not only feed school children, but also very clearly said the buck stops here. We're not going to be manhandled anymore. If you touch us, we're going to touch you. So the next clip is a short excerpt from a Black Panther documentary. 